All right, so welcome to the Intuitive Success Coaching Club video. So this is super fun. I decided just to bring this to my entire community because I was so inspired when I got a call from a dear, dear student of mine who graduated our Intuitive Success Coaching Program. I want to say maybe two years ago, actually might have even been less. And since then, she's been able to manifest the love of her life, have a beautiful home, and truly be happy, which I think is at the core of really what we all are in this life for, to love and be loved and have this happiness. So to see her life unfold so beautifully and to hear her reflect back to me some of the techniques that I had taught her to help her get there was just so inspiring. So that is why I'm here today with you to teach you just a really, really simple thing that can totally change your life. And I recommend that you share this video with your friends, with your family, with anybody that you're inspired to. And check out our site at lifeforceconnection.com and you can click under the certification program that I'm talking about and truly build and create a life you love. So let's get started. So as you'll see, if you're reading my blog or Facebook post or community newsletter, I basically ask you, what are three things that you would love to feel in your life on a daily basis? So I'm using the examples of freedom, um, love, and safety. So those are gonna be the ones that we're gonna be working with. Like I said, you may have different ones. So just maybe jot those down on a piece of paper, or have them close. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those feelings into any situation in your life. So think about if there's maybe a relationship conflict or a career choice that you need to make or a moving choice um, where your home is. Um, or maybe you're just not feeling settled or upset about anything in your life. Whatever the situation is, Go ahead and bring it to mind. You can jot that down as well. And think about it in context. So think about it as a picture. So who is around you? Where are you? What are you hearing? Um, what is that experience like for you right now? So just kind of put a frame of reference in your mind somewhere over here about that. And then we're gonna take these beautiful positive feelings and use your intuition to guide you to transform the situation and create it into a situation that you love, um, best life you love. All right, so I love this work. I think it's so much fun. So let's take a moment to center into our intuition. So bring your awareness from your head into your heart center. And imagine that you have eyes peering from your heart. So you're starting to sense and feel your world from this place of love. And when you feel from your heart, you actually feel vibration. So you're not so much thinking everything, you're feeling it, you're interacting with life through vibration, through love. So I'm going to take a few deep breaths with you here so we can just center in this place. So you'll notice what starts to happen when you allow each love, each thought to meet the love of your heart, the energy softens. So your thoughts naturally transform into that frequency of love. And we have the Universal Language of Love series coming up, which I'll be sending out about if you haven't seen it already. And that's really what it is, is working from this frequency. So from this place, notice how you already probably feel better. You're gonna take this love centered awareness and you're gonna imagine like a tunnel of love moving straight from your heart down into your belly, a couple inches right below your belly button. And this is your intuitive center. It's your place of knowing. It's your place of certainty. I often describe it as the soul embodied, right? So that infinite consciousness of love within you guiding you like an inner compass, moment to moment, step by step. In your life. So feel yourself now bring your awareness into that center, a couple inches below your belly button. And you can actually imagine a yellow, bright, golden light just circulating there, just clearing out, creating space, and even allowing that energy to move down now through your hips and your legs and your feet. Imagining that you have roots growing out the bottom of your feet, just like a tree, connecting you straight to the core of the earth. And then feeling that energy come back up through your feet, meeting at your center. 
And again, taking a few deep breaths here at your intuitive center at your core. Notice as you move to this place of center, you may start to get insights or thoughts or certainties or feelings about maybe what's coming, about what's been. It starts to activate truth. So when you're in your intuitive center, it's like love is synonymous with truth. Like you're in that connection point. I call it the life force connection, right? Like it's really the universe moving through you and you feeling your oneness, your connection to all of life. So from this place, we're going to bring to mind the three things, the three ways of being which you want to feel. So we'll start with freedom. And like I said, if you have something to write this down, it's super helpful. Um, also, you can re-listen to this recording, so you'll have it either way. So we're gonna take the word freedom. So the first way we're gonna access this feeling and the whole idea behind intuitive success coaching is we already have the answers within us. So I know for me, I started with traditional college. I got a scholarship to go there. And as I was learning all these psychology practices, I kept feeling this deep knowing that we had the answers within us that I and you and we all knew. So I started this process and this theology, like this, this understanding that, hey, I think the answers are within us. So you're gonna discover that today as you activate the truth these positive emotions within you and your next steps because your intuition can actually guide you to those next steps. And you become, if you're not already, your own best friend, your own best healer, mentor, guru, guide, all of it, right? Everything else is just a reflection of that truth, right? Or whatever you're bringing into your life. So the way you're gonna access or you can access these feelings is to activate all of your senses. So for freedom, we're just going to do that. So we're going to ask your subconscious mind, which by the way is 80% of us all, it's constantly on automatic. And that subconscious mind is connected to your superconscious mind, which you actually feel through your intuition, which is connected to the all, the infinite, right? Within the entire universe. So let's go ahead and do this. So if freedom was an image, what would it look like? So go ahead and allow your conscious mind to now show you what that would look like. Go ahead and close your eyes. See the image of what freedom looks like. And as you do, you're gonna bring your right thumb and your index finger together, and we're gonna start anchoring this feeling. Now you can release this, so you only need to experience it for about three seconds. But what we're doing is we're reprogramming your whole system to remember what these positive emotions feel like. And then eventually we're gonna take these positive feelings into something that was perceived negative and heal it and transform it. So again, thinking of the freedom, seeing the image, and as we activate each of these senses, you can bring your right thumb and index finger together. Again, this way this works, it's connecting the neurology of a positive thought with a positive feeling. It's like Pavlov's dog, if you ever studied that story. It's like he sees the dog dish and he knows it's time to eat. So what we're doing with this kinesthetic anchor is we're actually saying, hey, every time I do this, I feel this, right? In this case, we're anchoring freedom. So let's go ahead and activate the sense of smell. That's actually the strongest one um, besides your intuition, the olfactory sense. So if freedom was a smell, what would it smell like? So go ahead and allow yourself to freedom would smell like or whatever emotion you're working with. And then you can release your anger and each time we go ahead and bring it to a new level or activate a new sense, you can bring the anger in. So if freedom was a sound, what would it sound like? So go ahead and hear that internally and anchor it by bringing your thumb and your index finger together. Good. 
and then start to kinesthetically feel what freedom feels like in your body. So when you feel free, where do you feel it in your body? So maybe look, notice the location first, where does it start? And then where does that energy move? How does it expand or contract? So just follow that energy, kinesthetically feel it. Where is it light? Is it heavy? So just notice where the energy flows, connect to it within your body. And as you feel that freedom, allow it to expand. So wherever it starts, it moves and it expands. So keep that energy flowing. Good. And it's always fun to bring a color. So as you're moving the energy through your body, see if you wanna add a color. So for me, it's blue. So I'm gonna bring that color blue through the top of my head. It actually started at my belly. So it's gonna now move from my belly up through my head and then down through the entire portion of my body, down through my feet, connecting to the core of the earth and back up. So again, make sure you're circulating the energy all the way down from head to toe and connecting to the universe, to the earth as well. So heaven above, earth below, connecting those energies. Beautiful, good. All right, so another fun one is taste. So if freedom was a taste, what would it taste like? So go ahead and think about that. As you feel that, bring your right thumb, index finger together. Good. And you're feeling all the energies in your body and you'll read about them in the chakra system. So we're basically activating energy, like I said, that's beyond words and thoughts. So as you're becoming it in your body, your energetic system, you're naturally affecting your emotions and then you're transforming your thoughts, creating new beliefs, thus creating new positive experiences in your life. So that's what we're doing right now. So now that you guys all have your freedom anchor or whatever your first emotion was, you're going to test it. So go ahead and release your thumb and index finger for a second. Think about what you had for breakfast, anything else that just takes you into a different place. And then you're going to bring your thumb and index finger together again. And notice how you feel when you hit the exact spot that you anchored on it. You naturally feel that emotion, in this case, freedom. So notice how amazing it was that you just accessed something within you to now feel freedom at any time that you want, okay? So cool, right? So we're gonna release that, and then we're gonna move to your next emotion. So um, I think the next one I had was love, right? So I instantly just went to a memory of love, and I noticed how my thumb and my middle finger came together. So let's do that. So let's remember a time that you experienced love in your life. Um, I remember when I first started my practice, I had some people, you know, not necessarily knowing what love, unconditional love felt like, or my teacher said, if somebody doesn't know what unconditional love feels like, you can use the process that I just taught you, which is activating the senses, because at some level, we all know what everything feels like, so we just tapped into it. If you were to know, what would that feel like? And you go through each of the senses, right? So if you're having a hard time accessing the feeling of love, you can say, if I were to know, what would the image, sound, taste, um, feeling, and smell be like? Okay. Now, if you are able to access a memory of love, and you can even say unconditional love if you want, whatever you want, go ahead and bring that memory to mind. So you're gonna notice who's there, what are you smelling in that memory? Is it color of black and white? How do you remember it? So go ahead and see it. And if it's not a color image, go ahead and make a color now. So it's vibrant as if you're living it now. So as you're starting to feel that energy of love, unconditional love, go ahead and bring your thumb and your middle finger together. Again, holding it for about three seconds. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then releasing that. All right, so again, we call this breaking state. So you're just taking a pause in between the different things that you're feeling. And I think the last example I used was safety. So let's bring to mind what safety feels like. So again, you can use either one. 
you can use activating all of the senses um, if you were to know or a memory of it. So go ahead and choose whatever way you want to access this feeling. So we'll bring safety. So for me, I'm going to remember a time and I'm going to access the senses. So I'm thinking about a time where I felt super safe. Again, noticing who was around me, how I felt in my body. As soon as I start feeling that safety emotion, I'm going to anchor it. Right? It's called the peak state. So right as I actually access that feeling within my system, anchoring it. So this time you're going to bring your thumb and your ring finger together. Right? Noticing how each emotion is in different places. All right. So feeling that safety or whatever the emotion is that you're feeling is perfect. And then releasing that. So then you can have fun. So you can play with each of these anchors, right? You can touch, oh wow, freedom. Oh wow, love. When I bring my middle finger and my thumb together. Oh my God, here I feel safety. Like instantly, like I can touch that area and I instantly feel the emotion. So just play around with it and realize that like you can use these positive, I call them power states at any time. Like maybe before you want to work out. I used to do it before I went running. Um, it was just super fun. Like you can really create <laughs> anything you want from these positive states because as you vibrate to these states and create new beliefs, you start attracting this positive world around you. Okay. So now that we have these positive, powerful states of being, you're going to bring to mind again, whatever that situation was that was bothering you or upsetting. And you're going to bring these positive states into it. So see that image in your mind. And then let's do it one by one. So we're going to bring freedom into that situation. So you're basically going to see yourself in it and bring in the energy of freedom. And notice how you transform and that situation transforms as you bring that new energy in. And then you can bring the, ring, or the middle finger and the thumb. So for me, this is love. So whatever this anchors for you, whatever you anchored on your middle finger with your thumb, bring that into the situation. So in this case, I'm bringing in more love. And then finally, the ring finger and the thumb, and notice as you do that how you feel. And I start to feel those feelings of safety because that's what I anchored here. And you bring in that safety, a new positive feeling, and just notice how you feel. And notice how that situation transforms. And you may see yourself acting differently. And ask yourself, what are the three new steps now from your core? Watch yourself being guided from these positive emotions and your intuition feeling that light in your belly. You may even want to write this down. What are the next three action or non-action steps that you took that allowed you to feel completely safe, free, and love, or whatever your power states are. So I'll give you a moment just to allow that integration to happen, to see the image, watch it transform, and see yourself acting in a new way. And when that feels complete, you can gently open your eyes, you place your hand on your heart, and just feel your new integration. And now you know what your next, next steps are. And just notice how you feel. Like life really becomes a manifestation of what's going on internally. So you start to enjoy your life, and it's almost like life becomes more predictable because you know good is happening, because you feel good from the inside out.
So it's always such a pleasure and joy to connect with you. You can email me directly at abby, A-B-B-Y, at lifeforceconnection.com. I would love to chat with each and every one of you to help you on your journey, to give you more tools and techniques to really open up your full life force energy, your intuitive connection, and your ability to really access this wisdom within you to heal and create a life and a business as well. All right, talk to you all soon. Bye.